lives in South Kent on Henderson Drive if they want to send him a few uh, messages. But make it polite, make it not uh, uh, nasty, but just get, give them the point that, look, we've had enough of them. Well, I totally agree with you. Uh, Hillary is in Austin, Texas today. And a lot of times they sell tickets to get in, but the press should be there. And we'll see what happens on the Nolly News tonight. Uh, gee, I don't know. Uh, uh, and, of course, on the Sunday show. But, but everywhere she goes, people should go in. They should ask questions about, what do you mean the promotion of the Second Amendment is terrorism? Uh, what do you mean... Uh, you know, what difference has Benghazi make? And, and, and they should be under siege everywhere. They're already talking about her not running because she's so unpopular in focus groups with Democrats. Okay, I mean, I, I hope she runs. I mean, she is a disgusting witch, and it'll totally blow up in their face. And it, it isn't that I think the Republican presidential candidate, whoever gets it, will save us. It's that it's all about a rejection of the Clinton crime network. And so, yes, everywhere she goes... People with focused, serious questions. And then if a security guard walks up like you've done something wrong, be calm and say, hey, man, it's America. I'm asking a question here. You, you know, so many times with the police and bureaucrats, they're not even so much bad people. It's that our body language is like we've done something wrong. And, you know, a cop charges up to me for asking a question. I go, hey, man, it's the press conference or it's a question and answer. And I want America wants that answered. Is it not an American value to go out and ask this question? And if they say then leave, leave. But we all need to get out of our comfort zones. And all of us just have a buddy go with a little flip phone or their iPhone, videotape you asking the question, put it on YouTube. Say you're not technical like me. Have somebody that is show you how to upload stuff to YouTube. I mean, I've been doing that for, you know, by myself for since YouTube came out. Uh, and I say I'm not technical. I've gotten pretty technical over the years, just learning to get stuff done myself when I work by myself on the weekend. People see me upload videos sometimes from the road or, you know, while I'm cooking eggs for the kids uh, because it's always a war. I mean, it's it be, because freedom isn't free, and, and now the final phase of evil is here. We better stand up against it. Great points. Anything else, Phil? One last point. I think we should uh, call up the advertisers of uh, the New York Times and tell them, look, they should boy, uh, boycott uh, the New York Times until they put D'Souza's uh, list on there. They, they, don't, they don't have a right to, to uh, uh, deprive him of his rightful place on the list. Well, I mean, it just shows the New York Times is a fraud. I mean, who wants to read a paper or go see a race where it's rigged? I mean, that's why Don King ruined professional boxing and, and cut back the profits because people knew it was rigged. And, 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 I mean, what is the New York Times doing rigging the New York Times bestseller list, discrediting themselves? That's why they're going out of business. I mean, that's the answer. Just just do not read them. I hear you. I mean, it just, they're the, it's a total joke. Uh, let's go to Steve in FEMA Region 5 on the VA scandal. Go ahead. Thanks for calling. Hey, Alex. Um, you know, what's a real shame is the fact that our veterans are, they're starving on the streets. You know, people like my dad have been waiting eight months to see a doctor who's a Vietnam veteran. Joe and Biggs coughs up blood every night, uh, I, I know. and he, he can't even get in to see the VA. Yeah, I mean, he got shot in the shoulder in Vietnam, and, I mean, they, they won't even, you know, I mean, it's a shame. I mean, they're treating these illegal immigrants like they're royalty. Well, they are royalty. They're going to take our guns. Oh, yeah, they're Democratic voters. They're going to take your guns, my guns, take our rights. Everything. No, they rule us. They did. We're being conquered by, by mafia. Mm -hmm. I mean, they mean business, yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I mean, for people that don't think our government funds Al Qaeda, my dad handled documents that were for Bin Laden. They were training documents back in, in the I think it was the '70s, back in the time of the Vietnam War. So this has been going on for a long time. Well, his code name in the CIA declassified was Tim Osman, and it was all staged with Saudi Arabia. He just took the blame. He had nothing to do with it, folks. He was there organizing terror groups, but he wasn't actually quarterbacking anything. I've, I don't even want to get into it. I, I have, I know NSA whistleblowers. Folks know that, Sibel Edmonds and others, but I've talked to other whistleblowers. And, you know, the point is, is that people don't go public. There's no point even talking about it. But in Saudi Arabia, it's a big joke. The sheiks and people party, you know, here in Austin, uh, you know, Saudi princes, they just brag about it, the whole, their whole plan. And they think it's funny. Uh, so, uh, yeah, no. It, it's attack us and then turn America into a police state.
and, 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 and then their enemy, Iraq, gets attacked when, when they were the main drivers. It's incredible. Thank you so much, Steve. We'll be back with more calls. Hey folks, this is Larry Crisp for BabyBoomerBackupPlan.com. I don't have to tell you, this economy sucks. Unlike the political elite and Wall Street bankers, you know that debts don't disappear and bailouts have big consequences. Stock and real estate market bubbles can pop at any moment and evaporate most or all of your retirement savings. Folks, we're in the weakest economy of our lifetime and it's likely to get much worse. Virtually zero sectors of the economy are hiring and workforce participation is at record lows. And I'm here to tell you, this may be the best thing that could happen to you if you move decidedly and develop a backup plan immediately. Proportionately, more millionaires were created during the Great Depression than at any time in history, and history is about to repeat itself. Get my free report at babyboomerbackupplan.com or call 888-507-8789. That's 888-507-8789. What good is a Big Berkey water filter? We get that question a lot here at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And in a word, the answer is protection. Protection from water main breaks, E. coli contamination, environmental chemical spills, pesticide runoff, chlorine taste and smell, and all forms of fluoride. Plus, Big Berkey water filters are the original gravity water filter system and most trusted on the market for a reason. Tested by multiple independent NSF EPA certified labs, they are the gold standard in water purification. At only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. That means big savings. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get a Big Berkey today at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit our website or call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit and carting to a private bank, having it led back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Attention all radio listeners, Survival Life is giving away free credit card knives exclusively to our radio listeners here today. Visit MyCreditCardKnife.com to see this covert knife in action and claim yours for free. It's the same knife you've seen in the airline magazines for $29.95, but today it's yours free. Just pay shipping and handling. MyCreditCardKnife.com, MyCreditCardKnife.com. Go now. A 30-day GMO-free emergency food supply for only $99 at 30dayfoodsupply.com. You can purchase Oregon Trail Foods' one-month supply of high-quality, nutritious, and healthy emergency meals. For less than $100, these vegetarian meals are naturally high in fiber, carbs, and protein, and they're packed with oxygen absorbers in Mylar pouches. They're completely free of any artificial flavors and colorings, have a 20-year shelf life, and take up to 70% less space than number 10 cans. They even offer a gluten free option. Oregon Trail Foods and 30dayfoodsupply.com. Keep prices low by buying directly from the producers in Oregon and then passing the savings to you. Purchase a 30-day 90-serving emergency food supply for only $99 this month and $10 ships your entire order. Visit the website at 30dayfoodsupply.com or call 541-229-0010. That's 30dayfoodsupply.com where they make preparedness affordable. 30dayfoodsupply.com. Move quick to your calls. Jay is calling from Hong Kong. I would have gone to him first if I'd have actually read where he was calling from. I'm gonna go to Mike and others. Jay in Hong Kong, you're on the air. Thanks for calling. Hello, longtime listener and uh, first time caller. Uh, two points. Um, first for Bob Barr, how do you think he reconciles his Iraq War vote with libert his his libertarian principles? Yeah, I'll bring that up, and, and I mean, I'll be honest with you. I've been, I, I cut my teeth going after Clinton and then Bush. Obama is so virulent, and the globalists are making their full move through him, trying to extinct even the Republican Party. 
that uh, I overlook some of the things. He apologized for voting for the Patriot Act up front, said it was bad later, it should be repealed. Uh, there was incredible pressure and a lot of lies about the Iraq war. I know he's backed off on it some, but said, you know, it's better than what's happening now. Bob Barr's not perfect, but compared to the Democrat he's running against, who's for a gun ban, I mean, we're down to brass tacks now, where, where the Republicans, as, as, as bad as some of the things they do, uh, are the Democrats are cancer. And, 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 and if the Republicans were acting like this, I would be for the Democrats. I mean, the Democrats are going for it all right now. And, but I know I hear your point on Bob Barr, uh, and that was 11 years ago. Uh, and now he'll have more libertarian support to not be for things like that. Uh, and I absolutely hear what you're saying. I think it's very legitimate. Okay. The other point I have for you, Alex, is I talk to yuppies in Hong Kong, right? I, I talk to overseas Americans. Um, many of them are complacent. I talk to them about 9-11. I talk to them about MH370, which you're one of the few media sources that have really done justice to that story and provided a plausible explanation for what went down. Um, how do I get them to understand that that and Iraq and the financial meltdown are all connected? I mean, they'll, they'll complain about the federal government coming after their bank accounts under FATCA, but they don't see how it's all connected. I mean, people... Oh, well, this is how it's connected. You have different governing philosophies. There's been a lot of different systems throughout history. Uh, there's been the mercantile French systems, and there's been the Venetian black nobility and uh, their economic systems. There's been fascism and communism. What we have now is a form of corporatism or train wreckism, wreckerism, where it's kind of like corrupt lawyers will play off against their clients if you got bad lawyers and keep the, you know, the fight in divorce or whatever the case is going as long as possible. The system milking humanity, even as the whole system collapses, like Max Kaiser calls them suicide bankers who are still doing trades as the World Trade Center's collapsed. And one of them made $15 million in 10 minutes, but he was dead. So it's a mentality of not having wisdom. They only have knowledge. And so if people don't know how things are connected, FEMA did a horrible job at Katrina. They got their funding massively increased. People don't get in trouble or fired or indicted for doing really bad stuff in government and corporations. What does it do? It emboldens. So there is a culture of wrecking things because they get to manage the wrecking and pick the winners and losers. Like Obama flooding the borders openly to collapse local law enforcement, to bring in DHS, to get more funding to deal with the crisis, and then they'll just legalize almost all these people and do a few show deportations. Uh, and if someone can't understand that, they're going to you know, understand it real soon. But now Congress is coming out saying, Senator Sessions and others, it's staged and explaining how. Boehner's coming out now saying it's staged and explaining how it is. Because we're being forced to, because we're going to lose everything. I've described kleptocratic socialism and crony capitalism as cancer. It doesn't have a consciousness. And these globalists think they've got things figured out, but they're like cancer. They just keep growing and growing and growing, and they're going to kill the body politic. They're not symbiotic. I'm not up here on some high horse claiming government's got to be perfect and everything's going to be great, but I mean, you know. For God's sakes, they're training the police. Excuse me, I don't mean to, uh, excuse me, Lord. For heaven's sakes, they're training police all over the country to shoot homeless people in the back. And when they do it, they don't even get reprimanded. And I'm not even attacking the police. The point is, do cops want to live in a world like that, where that could happen to their kids, and it does? See, that's the issue, is we've got to realize everything we do is connected to somebody else. And so... Really bad people are getting in control. And as things get more decadent, more and more are. And so we're racing to the bottom. So if your yuppie friends don't want to wake up, that's because subconsciously they feel overpowered. They feel inadequate. So they just want to say it's not true. Well, okay. Then just tell them to get in the ditch and die. You move on. We'll be back. Stay with us. More calls. Breaking news. Stay with us.
We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. 